Hi, hello, how are you all this fine day? I hope that if you're here, you subscribe to this channel if you're not already, and you check out everything that's down below, my description box, subscribe and like buttons, comments, all those things are there for you. So go enjoy them. And we're gonna chat about a, I guess a different form of neurodiversity today. I usually talk about being autistic because I feel like that's what I know better. I've done a lot of research, a lot of self-exploration about it, but I've also come to realize that I'm also ADHD and that's just another form of neurodiversity that has a lot of overlapping characteristics of autism, but some key uh, differences probably lie in what we'll discuss today, and that is boredom. I can remember so many times when I was a kid how easily I could get bored. Okay, at times, yes, I could figure out ways to entertain myself, but for the most part, I really struggled with that. And I, I think I'm much better at that now just because I know what I really enjoy doing and I have no shame about that but I mean there's always going to be points where nothing feels good whether that's just where we're at that day whether it's executive dysfunction whatever it might be there's going to be this looming sense of just blahness and especially as summer rolls around, summer has always been my least favorite season. And that's mostly because when you've spent your whole life in school, for the most part, the summers mean that there's just this blank, empty three months of just, what am I supposed to do here? There's no structure and I, what what am I supposed to do with this? Plus it's hot outside, which, come on, come on weather. So, what the heck do you do with that? F first off, just acknowledging here that yes, whatever neurotype you are, people get bored. It's just a fact of life. But I think it rings true that neurodiverse people, it's just, it can almost feel like depression as well, where it, it feels like no end in sight. It's just the state of numbness in a way and apathy that, I mean, if we can avoid it, then let's avoid it. <laughs> So, I guess what I have, because again, this is something I also struggle with regularly, and I've especially found that, again, it comes with just being both autistic and ADHD, that having some form of structure is important. I wake up at the same time every day, I usually have the same -ish routine of what I'm doing, what I'm eating, kind of what I like to do between times. And even when I don't feel like doing anything during those chunks of time, just having a general sense of what the day entails and that there's a certain point in time where things are going to change a little bit or you're going to do something different in the next few hours, so just let it go. That's very helpful. Again, it can be hard to just conceptualize time and then adding boredom onto that. Just, it's not happening. Not a great time. So, personally, that's really helpful. Whatever you might do for that, for yourself, whatever works. Uh, I say go for it and just be open to trying different things it's a pandemic 
please don't go too far in that kind of general suggestion, but you, there are so many possibilities, I think, that can occur within a length of time. And even if you don't stick to it, that's okay. I've, I've found that I get really guilty because I'll be really gung-ho about maybe I'll try this thing or maybe I'll learn a new language or I'll actually get into meditating or what have you. And it's so hard for me to stick to something and do it more than maybe a couple days in a row and then just fall off the bandwagon. That's okay. Just allow yourself to be explorative. And if that means being a hummingbird in a way of just going to different activities or hobbies or interests, you know, if you have a length of time and it's yours to use, just let yourself be. Don't judge yourself for maybe I'm not getting all of these productive things done in a day or trying to meet up to standards that are comparing to neurotypical people versus neurodiverse people. That's just never going to work. And the sooner that you can internalize that for yourself, the easier it's going to be because you're not going to constantly try and feel defeated when you are not doing what in reality you're not meant for. And if that just means that you do one or two things that day, go for it. And especially with that, I think my ADHD brain definitely loves not necessarily always sticking to lengths of time that I'm supposed to do things, but just the general idea of doing it. Oftentimes when we make goals and such, you're supposed to make it time sensitive or be really specific about it. That's really hard. And that, again, not realistic. So I'm not going to write it down and expect myself to do it when I know for a fact it's not going to happen. So if I'm trying to fight boredom and... I have a general sense of how my day might look. I'll just have in my head one or two things maybe that, oh, maybe I'll get to this today. If I don't, that's okay. And if I do, I don't put a pressure on myself of I need to do this for two hours straight. Or if I don't do this every other day for the rest of my life, then I'm a failure. Just, it's hard, but just try and let yourself be flexible in that. Because as long as you are happy and you're content and you're in a way just keeping what's true for you and what, what you're inspired by at that time, then there's no wrong answer. So whatever length of time you might have, all of our days are different. Again, comparison does not help anyone. So whatever is within your means and whatever, I guess, cliche sparks joy, do it. If it doesn't hurt you and it doesn't hurt someone else, try different things and just make the most of who you are. And it's a strength to be able to be open to different things and be interested by so many different things. So go for it, people. 
do your things. If you have any like fun suggestions, uh, things you might have been doing in quarantine or what, whatever you want to say, share it in the comments below. Thank you so much for being here today. Like, subscribe, all the things if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time.